I'm getting a litany of bites. My, my fly has been hit twice. Ooh, I hooked it now. Fish on, folks. I don't know what it is. It's on a worm. It doesn't feel huge, but who knows? It's way back there, and it hit several times. Kept playing with it. Did not like the look of that net. Oh, yeah. Woo! Beauty. Nice big rainbow. Wow. So, they are not hitting super hard. That fish hit that worm three or four times over a stretch of maybe a hundred yards. He kept coming back. He's all feisty now. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that, uh, ooh, that, and he just threw the hook. That took a while. Took a while to get that fish in the in the mouth. So learned a little something there. They're, they're a little lethargic today. Fishhuntshoot.com offers a variety of tackle as well as rods and reels designed to get you on more and bigger fish. Check it out today at fishhuntshoot.com. Howdy folks, Cal Kellogg here. When you go trout fishing, you always want to have some worms on hand, and that's doubly true in the late fall, winter, early spring, when the water's colored, when there's a lot of runoff potentially, um, it's just a good idea to have some worms. Let me show you these guys. These are 12, you know, kind of standard issue night crawlers here. These are great for inflating with air, floating off the bottom. They're great for threading and trolling. They're great for drifting below a slip bobber. They're just a good all-around trout bait. But at the end of the fishing trip, what do you do with your leftover worms? Now, certainly, you can keep them in your refrigerator for a while. That's all fine and dandy. But, you know, at the end of the day, they're going to go bad. They're not going to last a real long time in a small container like this. And you're either faced with a choice. you got to put them somewhere where you can store them long term or you got to throw them away or release them in the garden or something like that. Well, let me show you what I do with my worms. I've always got five to six dozen worms on hand at a minimum. And uh, let me show you my system. It's simple, it's actually kind of fun, and it's nice always having bait on hand so you don't have to go to the store. I keep these containers, I reuse them, but let me show you my, uh, my main worm storage container. I keep it over here in my shed. Let's walk over there. Um, this is gonna be kind of kind of weird because I'm gonna be talking, the camera's gonna be filming at times, but uh, let's walk over here and see what we can do. Okay, right there, that's my worm storage container. Um, keep it right there in my shed, outdoors. That's where I keep, you know, my gasoline and some outdoor hand saws, shovels, rakes, stuff like that. Just my, my general utility shed. And uh, as I said, that's a galvanized bucket. I've just got a, got a piece of cardboard over the top. And I actually took this, um, this reflective insulation. I taped it around the outside of the bucket. This is about a... I don't know, it's probably a, a four to five gallon galvanized bucket. And I, I went on the bottom of it and I, I drilled really fine holes just so I could let water flow through it if I got too much water in it. Remember, you know, your worms, they're living creatures. You got to take care of them. They need food. They need water. They need fresh soil. So I'm going to walk over to my little deck here. We'll open this up. We'll tend to the worms. I'm going to add the worms I just showed you in that tub to these guys. Put them in here for safekeeping. And uh, when I get ready to go fishing, I'll take my, my small container. I'll pull out a dozen, two dozen worms, however many I think I need. I'll take them with me. If I don't use them all, I'll put them back in my master storage container right here. Okay, so here we are. We'll take the cardboard cover off of here. And uh, I just keep that that way to give them some privacy, to kind of kind of just, you know, just, just keep them covered, keep it dark in there. And uh, sometimes, you know, you'll lose some worms. But if we dig around in here, I see a couple dead worms right there. There's a nice, there's a nice big fat worm right there. Um, so I like to mix the dirt around a little bit. You got to give them water. You got to give them food. So when I mix them around, I just, just kind of shake them around like that. Break up the soil. I'm sure that's pretty shocking if you're a worm. <laughs> anyway, give them that routine right there. Just break up the soil. I'm going to mix them around. It actually looks pretty, pretty good. I have several dozen worms in there. Some big 
beautiful night crawlers there like that guy look at that guy big fat worm there he looks nice and healthy um, so when I tend to the worms you know they live out in the garden so I add garden stuff for them to eat to keep the soil in good shape and right here I just got a I just got a handful of wet oak leaves I'll put these in here kind of rip them up there's a few pine needles mixed in I'll put that in there and just those will kind of decompose they'll add moisture to the mix kind of just throw those in there don't throw a whole lot of them in there maybe a couple cups cup full something like that and I do this every couple weeks you know you can use coffee grounds people tell me that works great and it does you can get commercial mixes you can put in oatmeal stuff like that but uh, you know I live out here in the country I tend to just use stuff around my yard like the oak leaves and then what I have right here is I have an old apple it got kind of soft you can see some of those those spoiled areas of the apple I just sliced it up and I'm gonna smash it up even more so I'll put that in there just like that just break it up smash it up put it in there now I'll mix that around in there I don't like to shovel in there so much with my little scoop because I tend to uh, cut the worms up with that but get all that stuff kind of under the soil as as much as we can just kind of take it easy kinda like that looking good okay now take these worms these worms that uh, I had in this container here we'll just shake those in there like that They're kind of all glommed together there, I see. So I'll just kind of separate those a little bit. And those have been in the refrigerator for a little while. I took them fishing. I put them in the fridge. I haven't had time to mess with this. And they actually look a little, they look a little skinny. They look a little peaked. So they'll start to eat in here again. They'll gain some weight. They'll gain some size. They'll just be more healthy. Last but not least, I have a big old beaker of water here. We're going to add some moisture to this, but not a ton. I just, I'm not just going to pour it in there. I like to take it in my in my little scoop and I just kind of sprinkle it around and it'll it'll work its way down through like I say I've got holes in the bottom but uh, my goal is uh, to not really have it flow out from the bottom I find if I give it you know maybe maybe a third or a half of this container it's winter time you know so they need a little less it'll just kind of permeate down through the soil it'll keep the worms happy and I think that's plenty right there throw that out Ooh, got a little bit on Lucy got her moving I'll put the uh, I'll put the cardboard cover back on here just to, just to give them their privacy just like that and uh, we are done again for a couple weeks I'll put them back in the shed and uh, they can wait until I go fishing so that's it guys that's how i store my worms it's pretty simple nothing fancy i can keep worms in that bucket all summer long the key in the summertime is keeping the worms moist and keeping them cool so keep them in the shade i like that insulation on the bucket that insulation isn't for the cold months that's for the summertime you want to keep them cool if they get too hot they're going to die on you in the winter time you don't need to feed them as much they tend to stay moist longer um, they're you know semi dormant, but uh, as you can see my worms worms that were in the pail They were in very good shape the worms that were in that little tub Like I say they've been in the refrigerator for about a week. They're looking a little a little listless They're looking a little skinny They needed to eat not a whole lot of food in there when you got a dozen big night crawlers in a little tub like that So keeping them in the fridge keeps their metabolism slow and they will last for a while but the uh, bottom line is, don't throw your worms away. A simple storage container like that, you can keep your worms long term, you can keep them very healthy. And you know, beyond that, there are some other things you can do with them depending on what you wanna do with your worm. If you wanna fish, you know, inflate them with air, and you want a tough worm, 
take the worms out two or three days before your fishing trip and put them in moss or put them in some very sandy soil and put those in the refrigerator and it will make them a little bit tougher. Um, if you add water to the mix, it will make your worms a little bit plumper. Um, if you give them some food, you know, a week before a fishing trip, stuff like oatmeal, soak some oatmeal in water and mix it in. It'll make your worms very plump, very robust. So you can play with them. There's a ton of information online. There's a ton of products available online too. You can get commercial worm houses, commercial worm food, soil, moss the whole nine yards. Um, but you know, I keep it simple. I live here in the country. It looks like the sun went behind a cloud there, thankfully. Um, I live here in the country. I just use, you know, products that are at hand, that old rotten apple, some leaves, some stuff like that, some soil out of my wife's garden. I got the shed over here. My system works very well, um, so I don't really need to tweak it. Anyway, I'm Kel Kellogg. I'm signing off. If you're looking for trout gear, striper gear, click on over to our store at Fish Hunt Shoot Productions, and I will catch you next time right here on YouTube. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe, please hit that subscribe button and uh, I'll see you out on the water. I'll see you right here tomorrow on, uh, on YouTube. Anyhow, I'm Kel Kellogg. It's Sunday afternoon. I got a few more chores to take care of and I will catch you later. Thanks for all the support guys and uh, have a good day.